everybody. Christian Ballard here with Ballard Sports Media. We had tonight at Lane Stadium upset in Blacksburg, West Virginia. Yes, that's right. West Virginia unranked. Some hope this season for something, maybe a six and six, seven and five type of record. I don't know what people were expecting for the Hokies, but I'll tell you one thing. I damn sure wasn't expecting this. 17 to 10 over North Carolina. And it came down to great pass rush, great defense. This is North Carolina we're talking about. Now, of course, what happened? We had all this hype for North Carolina. And they failed us tonight. What's going on, everybody? Christian Ballard here at Ballard Sports Media coming at you with a quick recap of tonight's Friday night matchup on ESPN in the ACC. Just want to get my intro in there real quick. Braxton Burmeister, learn that name. A key guy for Virginia Tech, been the quarterback uh, for a couple of years, but it looked like he had probably his best game of his college career tonight. It looked like 169 passing yards, a 63 completion percentage. 12 of 19, again, 169 yards, one interception, gonna happen. North Carolina's got some great defense, especially some secondary players all the way around. So, of course, you could expect that a little bit. Um, Wow, Braxton Burmeister, he can run, too. He ran in the opening touchdown of the game. There was about 10 minutes left in the first quarter, four-yard run. Uh, kicker John Parker Romo gets the PAT, of course. That was an eight-play drive, went 75 yards in just a second under five minutes. Next uh, scoring drive, James Mitchell, 11-yard pass from Braxton Burmeister. He, I love the poise of this kid. I, I say that. I, he's about my age, if not a year or two older. But I, this quarterback, Braxton Burmeister, keep an eye on. I, I'm going to keep an eye on this guy. Um... He uh, he ran for a touchdown. He threw a touchdown and a couple field goals for Virginia Tech. So it wasn't an onslaught offensive performance for Virginia Tech, but the defense was crazy. Now you could sit there and say, "Well, we're filling up stadiums and everything. We got crowds, and you know Lane Stadium and, and Blacksburg is kind of crazy." Okay, maybe, but regardless, North Carolina. With all the hype and pressure on their shoulders to win the Coastal this year, with what we've seen from Mac Brown, and Mac Brown's a heck of a coach. I love Mac Brown. Good personality, dancing in the locker room, just good character. I love Mac Brown. I like North Carolina as a program. I think Sam Howe, obviously one of the top recruits uh, a few years ago, and one of the top draft quarterbacks in this upcoming draft in 2022. Keep an eye on, obviously. But man... This, look, this is not what North Carolina needed. They're a top 10 team. They're literally at number 10. They're now 7th of the ACC Coastal. Not that it matters. I mean, a couple 0 1 teams. A couple teams going to be 0 1 tomorrow, I'm sure. A couple teams could lose. I mean, you got Bama, Miami. Um, you got Georgia Clemson, right? But anyway, getting back to this game here. What did I see from this? Forget stats overall. I just, I, I kept my eye on this game. I didn't see all of it, but I saw some key points. It just looked like, man, credit to Virginia Tech and their defense for getting off the field on third down. What's the one thing that you hear coaches say, especially Nick Saban? If you hear him after a loss, the one thing he's going to point out is the defense not getting off the field on third downs. You're allowing the offense to stall out. You're allowing them to continue drives and plays. And that's exactly what Virginia Tech did not do. They pressured Sam Howell. He looked pedestrian. Credit to the defensive line of Virginia Tech and the Hokies. You know, Belmar, uh, Emmanuel Belmar. I mean, look, here's the thing. North Carolina has a good offense. They do. But I'm going to tell you something. What I saw, the thing missing... We hype up this offense. Where is the offensive line? Where's the protection for Sam Howell? Sam Howell is one of those quarterbacks that, yes, he's got the arm strength. Yes, he's mobile. Yes, he has good decision-making. He's good in the pocket. He can read defenses. But he's also one of those quarterbacks, I think, that cannot, when the pressure is on him, he does struggle. 
And that's a big deal. I'm not here to call Sam Howell out. I love Sam Howell. I think he's got a bright future. It could be NFL star, maybe. But obviously, after what we saw tonight, he's got a lot of work to do. North Carolina and Mac Brown obviously have a lot of work to do. Their season is not yet over. Virginia Tech, obviously, though, beating a top 10 team at home in the first week of the season, expect the next day people them to be in there, right? Where does North Carolina fall? Do they fall out of the ranks? Do you, I mean, you got to put Virginia Tech ahead of them. Do you put something like Virginia Tech 21 and North Carolina 22? Where, like, where does North Carolina fall? <sighs> I don't know if we should look at this as North Carolina lost the game, but more so, did Virginia Tech win? Did they show up in a way we didn't expect? Are they a surprise team in college football this season? Does Justin Fuente have a plan? Folks, this was incredible. And I was pulling for North Carolina this year. Now, it's not over. I think they get a win against Georgia State next week. I think they beat UVA, Georgia Tech. You know, they'll run the table. Their next true test, I think, may be that Florida State game on October 9th. If not that, they got Miami on the 16th of October in a month. And then they got Notre Dame. They got a tough stretch at, at, at some point. It's not that great of a road ahead. This is not... North Carolina needed this win more. Forget Virginia Tech. North Carolina, with where their program's at, with Mac Brown, and the hype that they had this season, they needed a win tonight. They did not do that. I'm not here to bash them. I'm not here to, uh, to, to throw anybody under the bus. I'm not here to call out Mac Brown. I love Mac Brown. I mentioned that. You look at these stats, though. This is what happened. See, there was hardly any offensive line. Great pass rush by the Hokies, getting pressure, and the, and just some good coverage uh, by a few guys uh, for uh, 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 West Virginia to disguise some coverage. Turnovers. Three, here's the thing. UNC won the battle in yardage. 354 total yards. Virginia Tech, 296. Okay. Well, Virginia Tech had more time of possession, almost 35 full minutes of the game. UNC, about 25 minutes of the game. UNC had more first downs in the game, 18 to 17, right? But Virginia Tech, when they had the ball, they killed the clock. If they were up, they were killing the clock and running it out. And North Carolina had a hard time getting off the field on third down tonight. Plus three turnovers for the Tar Heels. Whereas Virginia Tech had only two. Punt, punt, punt. The first few drives, North Carolina just could not get anything going. They were shut out the second half, 14-0 at halftime. There was an interception that Howell had. Um, there was no gain. It was to the 20. It was right there at the Virginia Tech 25-yard line. They were in the red zone. It was kind of tipped and picked off, misread it. Jermaine Waller, the safety, got it. Or corner, whatever. They had, there were two interceptions for Sam Howell. So, Sam Howell, one of the top quarterbacks in the class, which, you know, you got to think, too, Virginia Tech lost their best player in the draft. They lost Caleb Farley, a key first-round pick as a corner. They still got some good defense. I'm high on them now this year. I mean, I was kind of high on them anyway. But now, going forward with the season, you're like, Justin Fuente, give us some more. Give us some more. Then you look at North Carolina. You're like, you're not bad, but you got some things to figure out. Can you use this loss as motivation? I think they can. Can you win some games? Obviously. Do you have the talent? Is it really there, or are we missing something? Are we overlooking North Carolina? Are we overrating them? I don't know. That's the thing. I think the talent is there. North Carolina has got to bounce back from this loss. They were ranked at the top. They were ranked right at number 10. Virginia Tech was unranked. Expect them in the top 25. This next poll, and again, these polls are meaningless until we get to the college football polls, the, the playoff polls. But I still like to look at it. It gives us a look at where we're at in college football in the season, where teams are in their hunt for the playoff. Virginia Tech could be making some noise this year. I'm not going to call it full on, but I'm definitely keeping my eye on them after tonight's matchup.
because this was incredible. Their defense and their pass rush was fierce. It was fast. It was dominant at the line of scrimmage. Stood them up. That's what you want to see. Ultimately, Manuel Belmar, yeah, Amari Barno, Jalen Griffin, Taiwan Garbutt, Darrell Bailey Jr. I mean, you have some key guys on this roster to watch. They got a couple. They, ha they have a lot of young players. It, it varies, but they have a, a few young players. But I'm looking forward to going forward this season, what Fuente has for his Hokies, and are they in the hunt for an ACC title? think you might want to keep an eye on them. Forget about this Clemson and everybody else, and then this season is, yeah, there's North Carolina, but keep an eye on Miami, which, by the way, the Bama game tomorrow, of course, um, I won't, I'll have to work tomorrow, and it really sucks, but priorities. But maybe this football season is a little bit different than we thought. Could this be the best college football season ever? I think it could be. We're just getting warmed up, folks. Here's how you make it the best college football season ever. Upset after upset, and the champions get knocked out. That would mean my Crimson Tide, in a way. But like the underdogs rising up, stuff like this. We didn't expect this. A couple of people might have picked an upset in a close game, but I didn't. I was high on North Carolina. Now, not only did they lose the game, it's not that they lost the game, but week one of the season, we're just getting started, folks. I'm looking forward to the rest of it. This was a hell of a game. This is going to be a hell of a season, and I'm hyped up, man. Shout out to the Hokies, 17-10 over the North Carolina Tar Heels and Sam Howell and Mac Brown. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. Keep your head up. Remember that always. God bless. Please like, comment, and subscribe right here to Ballard Sports Media for more sports content. Folks, congrats to the Hokies on a great win tonight. Till next time, Ballard Sports Media. Checking out. Love y'all. Peace out. Woo!